I'm going to go through the workflow about how, how I made um, this guy. He's made out of strands in Bifrost um, that are growing over the surface of him. As you can sort of see when you get close up, I'll stop it. It's got sort of like the strands growing all over his surface. Um, oops, like that. And I've also done one which is particles, um, which you get nice swirling motion with the particles. The particles are constantly being moved over the surface, whereas with the strands, they're just growing based on the particles that are being emitted. So they don't move about, they just grow over it. Um, you get a nice, it's a nice look. So, in Maya, how the process works is I'm going to simulate particles over the surface of this guy as a static mesh, and then I'm going to transfer the particles or the strands to an animated mesh. So, at the moment, I've got this is one of the sort of generic. Um, meshes that comes with Maya in the content browser, so uh, modeling, no, general editors, content browser, just use one of them. Um, it is just one single mesh, which um, I haven't done this process on multiple meshes, um, so it may be a slightly different workflow, might not work in the way that I'm showing it on if you've got more than one mesh. Um, uh, so that to be yeah. So need to say anything else on that? Um, the I've done a human IK rig on this guy, just a quick one. It's nothing fancy. It's got a couple of glitches in it, but it's all right. And I'm just going to bring in one of the generic FBX smoke caps that come with Maya. So I'll just do uh, that walk, which I think is the one I did for the other one. So you drag that in. And then once you've dragged it in, you can just set the source on your IK to be the walk, and it will do that. So now I've got that. Got a bit of a twitch in the head, but apart from that, it's all right. Um, so how it works is I'm going to simulate the particles on a static version of the mesh, and then transfer them onto the animated mesh. I haven't worked out how you can sort of get particles to stick to a moving. Uh, animated mesh but this process works quite well and the transferring of the particles or the strands doesn't take very long it doesn't you know it seems to be quite quick once you've cached out the particles you can transfer them over to another mesh quite quickly um, right so I need the animated mesh but I also need the static mesh so I'm just going to duplicate him now and if I go back to walk we've got two meshes, static mesh to be simulated on, animated mesh that's going to be, have them applied to. Right, so let's get going. Um, we'll do that in the next video.